Well, good afternoon. I'm uh, Bear County District Attorney Joe Gonzalez, and before I begin, let me just say this is the first uh, press conference that uh, I have had since the election last month, and I want to uh, thank the citizens of uh, Bear County for giving us an, an opportunity to con uh, continue with our administration. We're here uh, because this is the day that the Eric Cantu family has been waiting on for some time. We are here to announce that a grand jury has reviewed the case involving the shooting of Eric Cantu by former officer Brennan. And as a result of a grand jury presentation today, a grand jury in fact indicted uh, Mr. Brennan for the uh, shooting of that unarmed teenager that occurred October 22nd of uh, uh, 2022. Our office will now go forward with the prosecution of this case, including a possible trial if necessary in order to obtain a conviction against Mr. Brennan. Because this is an ongoing case, uh, I'm, of course I'm limited in what I can tell you, but I will tell you that we're going to do everything possible to see that justice is done for Eric and the rest of his family. We know that most officers in this city care deeply about their community, but when an officer uses unnecessary and unjustified force the trust that exists between our community and law enforcement is rattled. The video of the shooting has been seen across the country. I know that many of you have seen it. I certainly saw it. And it has affected us all deeply. The harm that occurs from an incident like this sends ripples throughout our community. And so it is imperative that we feel that we do something to, in order to continue with the trust that our community has in the criminal justice system. Because if that trust is not there, people do not then report crimes, people do not come forward to offer their services as witnesses, and they take situations in their own hands in order to resolve cases. I hope that by vigorously investigating and prosecuting this case, we can help to increase the faith in our system, even if we can never repair all the pain and suffering that Eric and his family have experienced. I want to commend members of the San Antonio Police Department. I want to commend the chief and the command staff for acting quickly in this case to terminate this, this former officer. Uh, I want to commend them for swiftly filing this case with us and now allowing us to proceed to today. We must now begin to bring justice to Eric Cantu. Since the beginning of my administration, I have said and I have been committed to the principle that no one is above the law. That includes members of law enforcement when they abuse their authority. This case will be handled by the Civil Rights Division, uh, head, lead, I'm sorry, led by our Division Chief, Daryl Harris, that is flanked to my right. It is exactly for this reason that we have the Civil Rights Division to be able to review this sort of conduct uh, that can be committed by a member of law enforcement. We know that the large majority, as I said, of members of our law enforcement community care deeply about this community and about the citizens of, of San Antonio and Bear County. But when their conduct rises to the level of a crime, we will review that, make decisions, and certainly prosecute those individuals that are responsible. Again, I want to express my sincere uh, regret and sympathy to Eric. I'm happy to hear that he is recovering. I am happy to hear that he is out of the hospital. 
I hope that one day he will fully recover. I'm sorry, that he will fully recover. In the meantime, I commit to him and his family and this entire community that we are going to do everything to bring justice to Eric Cantu. At this uh, time, I uh, welcome any questions that you all may have. You say you want justice for Eric Cantu. What exactly do you mean by getting him justice? Well, what that means is we are going to go forward now that we have an indictment, now that the grand jury has returned uh, several counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, which is, a, by the way, a first degree offense. Uh, the range of punishment is from five to 99 years of life. There is an additional count of attempted murder, uh, and that is a second degree uh, offense. The range of punishment there is from two to 20 years. Justice means prosecuting that individual for this conduct. Justice means obtaining a conviction. Justice means making sure that man never works as a member of law enforcement, making sure that that man never has a gun and a badge. Justice means seeking appropriate punishment. He certainly has a right to trial. He has a, a right to his day in court, and the justice system will see that he gets that day in court. But we're going to uh, do everything we can to make sure that the uh, the punishment is appropriate. Can you list all the charges that Brennan is facing? He has <laughs> several uh, uh, charges that have been returned by a grand jury. There are three different counts. Count one is a as an aggravated assault with a deadly weapon by a public servant, uh, causing serious bodily injury to Eric Cantu by shooting uh, the complainant with that deadly weapon. So that's paragraph A of count one. There is a paragraph B of count one that again is alleging aggravated assault with a deadly weapon by a public servant uh, by threatening imminent bodily injury to Eric Cantu. Again, by shooting at and in the direction of Eric. There is a count two that is uh, a, uh, a separate aggravated assault with a deadly weapon by a public servant. Again, the former officer, in this case, Mr. Brennan. The victim here, or the complainant, is Emily, how do you pronounce her officer? Proof. Proof, spelled P-R-O-U-L-X, but pronounced Proof. And then, of course, the last count, as I mentioned, is an attempted murder count, uh, identifying the complainant, in this case, as Eric Cantu for basically it's alleging that he intentionally and knowingly attempted to cause the death of Eric Cantu by shooting the complainant with a deadly weapon that failed uh, in the commission of the offense uh, intended, which is murder. So those are the, the separate counts listed in the indictment. So three aggravated assaults by public servants? Correct. And so no, why no, is there no. No, no, no. There's two different aggravated assaults. One, one uh, identifying uh, Eric Cantu is a complainant, but there are two different paragraphs within that count. Uh, and then the other uh, aggravated assault lists uh, Emily as a complainant. So we have two aggravated assaults with a deadly weapon and then one attempted murder with Eric being the complainant. Are you seeking the maximum penalty? We certainly... Uh, are going to be seeking what we believe to be an appropriate punishment, and right now, to me, uh, maximum punishment is, uh, appears to be appropriate. Anybody else? What's the next step in this case? The next step is, is to let the court process uh, take shape. Uh, it will be set uh, in court, and uh, again, he has, Mr. Brennan has the right uh, to, uh, to set this for trial. There will be several settings where his defense team has an opportunity and a right to review the discovery. We will provide the discovery to, to his defense team. Uh, they will make the decisions whether to go to trial or attempt to resolve this with some sort of plea bargain. But uh, that process will take uh, several months, uh, so I don't anticipate uh, finalizing this case until sometime next year. But uh, uh, again, he's got every right to his day in court, and, and the, I'm sure the court system will, will, 
ensure that he gets every opportunity uh, to uh, ensure his constitutional rights in this case. Are you interested in a plea deal? Well, it's too early to tell. It's too early to tell uh, what, how we should uh, resolve this, but I will tell you that we're not going to do anything without the input of your young Eric. Uh, we want to certainly want to, to visit with him, uh, and we will take into consideration his wishes as well as that of his family. But, uh, but we certainly, everything is, is on the table. Uh, and uh, we, at this point, we just want to uh, uh, hope that uh, young Eric continues to heal uh, and we'll, we will go from there. Más o menos este caso se trata de que hemos presentado este caso ante un gran jurado y ellos han decidido uh, archivar este caso en contra de esta persona por, por haber uh, uh, valenciado uh, a, la, a la víctima uh, y, y vamos a proceder en contra de este, esta persona y, y él tiene el derecho de citar este caso uh, para juicio y vamos a ver co cómo vamos a resolver este caso pero, pero para hoy lo que hemos hecho es empezar el procedimiento para castigar esta persona por es, este acto. ¿Y añadieron este nuevo cargo de intento de asesinato? ¿Nos puede hablar de eso? Pues este es uno de los cargos que, que aceptó y decidió el gran jurado y ese es el, el atento de asesinado, asesinado en contra de esta persona. ¿Y qué mensaje tiene para la familia de Eric si estuviera viendo en este momento? Tenemos, vamos a hacer todo posible para traerle a, a, a Eric y a la familia toda la justicia posible y eso se, obviamente se va a durar un tiempo para llegar a, a ese punto, pero vamos a hacer todo posible para traerle a él la justicia. ¿Cuánto pesaría, ¿Cuánto pesaría todo este proceso? Pues inmediatamente, eh, como hemos, ya hemos archivado este caso, eh, vamos a seguir adelante, eh, se va a citar Uh, para una, una cita en la corte y vamos a uh, empezar ese proceso que se va a durar uh, uh, ciertos meses y como he dicho puede ser que vamos a tener que ir a, a juicio ante un jurado para, para llegar a un, final, un, un punto final en este caso. Correcto. Well, I mean, we're, we're going to have a setting sometime uh, very soon, but what may take months is to actually go to trial. But I would imagine that we were going to, we'll be seeing uh, a setting in the next several weeks. Have you spoken to uh, Eric Antun's family about the charges? And if so, what did they say? We have uh, met with them, uh, and uh, I know that, that uh, the chief has been in con constant communication with uh, with the uh, the family of Eric, uh, and I'd like for him to step forward and uh, and maybe uh, give us some idea of, of the kind of uh, uh, interaction that uh, you've had with them. Daryl, you want to step forward? Good afternoon, all. Um, we did meet with uh, Mr. Cantu, the younger's parents, uh, probably the tail end of October, initially. Uh, I've had constant contact with their representatives. Uh, about the status of our investigation to date and how it's progressed. Uh, have not had the opportunity to talk with uh, Eric himself yet. Uh, that'll be the next phase now that he is home and on, the, on recovery. Um, but they are aware of what we were doing today. They're aware of the results. Um, so far, so good. Nobody who does this for a living goes about predicting outcomes. But I would say this, that over the time I've been in this office, uh, if we get to this point, we're confident and comfortable with our evidence to date, and we're confident in our ability to pursue that evidence to whatever end it takes, would be it uh, resolution by agreement or through a trial. Uh, we'll just take it the next step, one, day, one step at a time. Anyone? Well, we have you up there. Do you mind uh, giving your first and last name and spelling for us? 
Daryl Harris, uh, D-A-R-Y-L, Harris, H-A-R-R-I-S. Thank you very much, and, and I know uh, this has been uh, uh, a long time coming, and I know that you all have been very patient and waiting for this day, but, but uh, I want to thank you all for, uh, for coming out and, and, uh, and uh, receiving our announcement. Have a good day.